out to most deaf waiting for a few people to join hello one person is that Carrie Foster Carl Foster Carl how are you Carl look like Carrie me too I joined ha 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 is it no. Maybe, yeah that makes sense we'll get started in a few minutes here Carl, how you doing? You still in Dubai? Are you, I think you left uh, Fit Republic. If you don't want to talk about it on this forum, that's okay. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, welcome, man. Welcome. Um, we're going to focus on thoracic spine today. We've been going up the body for the week. Uh, this will be on YouTube, so... Um, if anyone missed it, they can relive it. Uh, follow along. That Carolyn, welcome. Um, so, uh, we did foot ankle on Monday, came up to the knee on Tuesday, hips yesterday, my favorite hips, and we'll hit the thoracic spine, especially with all of us kind of crunching. We'll give a few more minutes, let a few more people join. Give another minute here. If you have some space, all you need is a little space, zero equipment necessary. This thoracic spine is a really fun one that we can get a lot done with. I think it has huge implications for our overall health. So hopefully um, we can be getting things better as we are on lockdown. <laughs> hopefully everyone out there is staying home. So we'll start out pretty simple on all fours here. I'm just going to turn and face the camera. Who's that? Carl. Oh, you're still with Fit Republic. Very cool, man. Very cool. Hopefully you guys are rocking and rolling there. So from here on all fours, uh, we want to take a look at our thoracic spine, thoracic mobility. Um, I like to look at the rotational components. So we can open up here. There's a lot of other pieces moving as we go. All right. Um, we can just compare side to side. If you get stuck anywhere, all right, this could be in the shoulder. Uh, this could be along that chain. So we want to start paying attention to that. So we can also, from here, put the hand behind the back. Again, if you're facing the camera, this is something I do remotely. We want to see how much rotation you actually have. So now we start to lock pieces of our body out. So we're comparing side to side. So feel the difference side to side. And then I also want you to, again, maybe off this, um, go ahead and go and uh, record this on your own so we can compare. So you have a pre-test. Post-test, I see uh, Clint and Kimberly. Oh, my live video ended on, uh, whatchamacallit, Instagram for some reason. Let me just try to reconnect that guy. Sorry about that. Uh, what did you do, my love? My wife, she canceled it. Sorry, guys, on Facebook, we're going to re-go here live. Let's try that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Clint and Kimberly. Uh, Clint is a PT, so... You can use each other if you have someone else there with you to kind of gauge, assess, use another phone and give us an idea of how much range you have on each side. We're going to actually go and make it a little more uh, isolated and go into a kneeling position again as long as this doesn't bother the knees or the ankles or anything like that. Bring your elbows together underneath as close to your knees as possible. And from here, put the hand behind your back. And again, as long as you can, obviously for the shoulder. From here, we're going to rotate and see where we can get. We wanna at least get to 45 degrees, if you can imagine that line. So we're gonna go both sides here. Okay, keeping that, uh, the forearms, the elbows are gonna give us that kind of reset and, and isolate us. And we're going both sides. So we wanna see if we can keep it uh, side to side the same, all right? So we have our kind of pretest. the next 10 or so minutes. We're gonna try to keep it relatively short. We're gonna keep focusing on opening up everything through here and we can post-test that same thing and see if we get a little bit further um, in each of those positions. So those positions, again, were locked down, elbows here, try in there. We can bring this up to <clears throat> on all fours, hand uh, behind the neck. You can check it, hand behind the low back. You can check it or just opening up the arm. So all of these different ways to get things going. Next, we're gonna go and lie down on our side 
All right, you can put this leg over the top. You can hold it down. If you have a pillow, you can use that pillow or a foam roller or something on here so that you're not opening up if you are that tight. So you're just going to where you can. We're gonna do a rib grab open. So you're using this bottom hand to hold onto the rib. All right, you're not necessarily trying to lock it down, but we're gonna open up and take a deep breath out as you go. I'm gonna come a little closer to the camera so I'm not hitting the couch. All right, so rib sideline thoracic rotation. As you can see, I start to lift up here. So I wanna fight that and keep that knee down actively. So I'm getting more of this diagonal stretch. Feels really good. Really good one to do when you're getting in and or out of bed. All right, so uh, first thing in the morning or last thing before you're going to sleep. Deep breath as you rotate. You can come back, let's do one or two more here. So reach across there and then rotate out. Deep breath. If you have a couch here, you can actually grab the couch and give it an extra little pull. If you wanna get a little more active, get a little more out of it, but I think for most of us, just going into this range of motion is gonna feel really good and start to get us opening up. I'm just gonna rotate over this other way, do the exact same thing here. All right, so uh, pillow there, again, or a foam roller, or anything you need there. And we're gonna grab that rib and we're gonna rotate, keeping that knee down actively. I'm using the couch this time to give an extra little pull and play around with where your head's going as well. And then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna reach toward the camera a little bit here. So we're getting motion into that thoracic spine. Today's whole focus is on that thoracic spine. All right? Deep breath as we're going out this way. Very good, very good. All right, guys, let's keep it moving. We're gonna come back on all fours. I'm not sure what's going on with my Instagram. I'm just gonna give up on that. It, for some reason, ended the video, but uh, anyone who wants to watch this later, it'll be on the uh, YouTube. So, from here, on all fours, another one of my favorites is thread the needle. So, this right hand for me, uh, if you're watching or doing this on your, your own, you can do, it might be your left hand, but reaching underneath, thread the needle, lay your head down, big breath, and then we're gonna come out, and rotate out, big breath there, okay? Let's do five of these, so that's one. Let it, deep breath, rotate out. I'm trying to go a little further. If you felt restriction or if you feel any kind of uh, differences or anything like that, you can go hand behind the neck or hand behind the low back here. We should be on number three, reach. See if you can reach a little further can really exaggerate it, get that stretch going, and then come on up. And then we'll get one more going here, reach. Big breath. And then let's call that there. We're gonna switch to the other side. If you guys have questions about thoracic spine, how it relates to anything else, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm keeping an eye on it since I only have the Facebook uh, feed going there. So other hand, Reach, rotate, good. And we're rotating all the way out. Open that up, big breath. Reach, under, use the floor, use that rotation. Big breath at the end of each part of the stretch. Open up there, big breath. Lexi's loving it. I don't know if you guys can see her back here. She is asleep. So relaxing, big breath, and then coming back up, opening up there, very good. All right, one other version of this, you can do this with a foam roller, uh, you can do this with a pillow, and all you gotta do is kind of fold it up. I'm gonna keep it really simple, I'm gonna try to get it so it's uh, face up. Uh, just something to open up the chest. Again, especially right now, we're all kind of crunching this way. We need to spend some time opening that up the other way. So I'm gonna try to get this pillow kind of right underneath my chest, and hopefully you can see that. Again, a foam roller is a really good way to do this. You can actually do this off of the edge of your couch or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but really working on leaning back, opening up, letting that chest just spend some time 
opening that up. You can straighten the legs out to add a little more relaxation. Again, if you're hanging out here, you can do this while you're watching Netflix. Uh, hopefully you're following along as we're doing this. And so opening up through here, again, kind of right under that chest line and taking deep breaths again into the belly, allowing that to open all the way up. All right, so normally I'd have you hold this a bit longer for the sake of the video. We're gonna keep moving a little bit, okay? So one other piece, anytime we open something up like that, so hopefully you feel a little more uh, open, less restricted, we can do this on, all fo on, on kneeling, tall kneeling, and all we're gonna do here is reach as far as you can forward. No bands, again, bands will just add a different kind of uh, stimulus as if we do this, and then you're gonna go back as far as you can. Try to keep this all this motion on this level here. All right, so reach as far as you can forward, and then squeeze those shoulder blades back as far as you can. Reach as far as you can forward, and then as far back as you can. So what does that look like? Kind of cat camel, except if we're on all fours, right, we tend to move through a whole lot of other pieces. I want to really try to isolate that thoracic spine again, the rib cage. So if you can, sink through the shoulder blades, and then press out through there. A little more advanced version of this, you can go into, if you can see it, you can go into a push-up position doing the same concept. Okay, so this is more of that sagittal plane thoracic. Also, from any of these positions, we're gonna keep going back to opening up, getting that rotational piece to it, okay? So coming back here, again, sink through the shoulder blades, press out through the shoulder blades. Sink through the shoulder blades, press out through the shoulder blades. All right, very good. Coming back for a second in kneeling. Again, any other questions you guys have, shoot them over, I don't see any questions yet. Um, from this kneeling position, you can do this sitting, uh, coming back to breathing. So breathing is very important for thoracic, the, the again, chest, the rib cage, everything there. So one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. I think I saw Zach was watching earlier. I don't know if he still is, but uh, last time I checked with Zach, uh, Edgar, I know uh, are very big chest breathers. So again, when we're stressed out, that's the fight or flight response. We tend to go to this chest breathing. That is not very optimized breathing. If we can, we're gonna go down and breathe into the belly. So deep breath in, get that stomach expanding out and breathe out. So if uh, you're getting better breathing, getting it more relaxed. This is a really good way to calm down our nervous system. If you just checked out the news, I don't know why you're doing that. I mean, we're all prone to it. I try to limit my exposure to the news as much as possible. That's my best advice I can give you as much as all this movement's important. We're calm down and, and let's find these ways to relieve that stress, all right? Do what's in our control. So breathing is definitely in our control. So anytime you do happen to check the news, um, maybe you go back to, to doing a little bit of breathing as you're absorbing what is going on in the world. So back to that deep breathing in through the belly, out. In through the nose, out through the mouth is one version. Number two is just nasal breathing. So I won't be able to talk and do this, but if you're keeping it here, in through the nose, out through the nose, it's gonna be less expansive. However, just breathing in and out through the nose, so you can be doing this while I'm talking, is uh, going to keep you actually, uh, it, it, the body prefers that method for, for a lot of different reasons, um, including physiologically, it's actually releasing nitrous oxide, which is a very potent um, chemical, if you wanna call it that, but a but uh, very potent gas that uh, allows us to be more relaxed and is gonna help our physiology uh, start to heal and be better. Okay, so thoracic spine, um, we're gonna come close to wrapping up here, just trying to keep it to 15 minutes. If you guys want more, uh, again, shoot something in the comments and or shoot me a message uh, personally, directly. So back to our testing. All right, uh, on all fours here, and we're gonna, I'm gonna line up to the camera to make sure we see where we're getting. So opening up just through, again, going into that thoracic rotation. Okay, we could do that same concept from a push-up position. T push up, okay. And then next piece coming back here, hand behind the neck, continuing to get that motion. From there, you could also come all the way down and try to go full range of motion down there. 
and then comparing it to the other side, hand behind the neck, open that up, bring it down, open that up, bring that down. All right, and then the more <clears throat> isolated version, elbows together as close to the knees as possible, hand behind the back, and we're going as far as we can, rotating with the left, compare that to rotating with the right, how is the imbalance and or hopefully balance left to right, okay? So, um, wrapping up, thoracic spine, uh, very integral for shoulder health, breathing function. Again, this is right above our low back, so if you have any low back issues and your thoracic needs a little bit more range of motion, um, very rarely is the thoracic spine uh, too loose, but there are some of you folks out there who, who have hypermobility. Uh, but generally what happens is our low backs maybe are moving too much, and then the thoracic actually has to tighten up even more on top of that. So we need to find that balance of keeping our thoracic spine healthy. Um, the majority of us have restricted thoracic mobility. Uh, we will only know that with some of these tests that we ran through today. Again, the breathing piece is something that we need to keep coming back to, not just for thoracic spine, but also for low back health, for again, shoulder function. Uh, so depending on whatever your goals are, whatever pains you have, whatever aches you have, uh, we can start putting all these pieces together. That's why I'm doing these 15 minute videos. Um, hopefully, again, we can have this conversation. I had some, uh, a great Zoom call uh, last night with CrossFit Dana Point and uh, hoping to have, if anyone else wants to have me on with their gym. Uh, I know most gyms are right now all online, so uh, it's a great time to be providing value and content to your audience. Again, I'm happy to be part of all that, um, and hopefully this brings you guys a little bit of value, a little bit of feeling better, especially being cooped up inside. Um, you know, go out, be safe, uh, but for the most part, stay home, stay safe, Keep moving though, we need to keep our, our sanity. So, um, looks like absolutely nobody's on right now, <laughs> but this will record on YouTube. So, um, I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully, um, you're all staying safe.